Seven News can tonight reveal details of the first flights delivering passengers to our rebooted hotel quarantine program. Chanel Vella is at the airport this evening and Chanel overseas flights will arrive later this week. Mitch, five flights will arrive on Thursday. All up, they'll be carrying around 80 passengers. And while we know the virus will end up back inside hotel quarantine, we'll have to wait and see if the state government can keep it there. Victoria holds its breath for a third attempt at hotel quarantine. The first international flight into Melbourne for eight weeks touches down at 4.30 Thursday morning with just seven passengers on board from Sri Lanka. It will be one of five flights on day one, including arrivals from Singapore and the Middle East. But some stranded Melburnians still aren't willing to take a risk on a Victorian system that's already failed twice before. I'm not even planning to try to fly directly into Melbourne. I will fly into Sydney, quarantine there and then go to Melbourne. Sarah Reynolds has been trying to get home to Brunswick from the UK since March last year. She's since moved to the US with family after her flights were cancelled multiple times. We really understood it the first time when Melbourne shut down um, but this most recent snap lockdown, it was a five-day lockdown but they've they haven't let international flights in until now. The government says failures have been fixed. Travellers disagree. It's definitely easier to get into another state. My husband is in Sydney right now um, and that was a lot easier and he's in a lot better conditions than he could have ever hoped for for in Victoria. I had a friend of mine who is from Melbourne who she went to Perth for two weeks and did the quarantine in Perth for two weeks knowing it was easy just to pick a, pick a route and basically ignore Melbourne. Victoria is 39 days COVID free but the stakes are about to get much higher. Chanel Vella, 7 News.